Morning, ladies, we've got this chill in the air this morning. We'll have you reaching for a jacket. Definitely want to have some sleeves. We'll have more details on those storm chances going up for the weekend coming up in just a few minutes. And, uh, you know, everybody, <clears throat> you everybody's been excited about, <laughs> I'm excited about talking about Mardi Gras. Yeah, we're yes. talking about the weather that we'll right. experience for Mardi Gras, too. Yeah, we've got a storm system that we'll be monitoring out west. It is going to send us another round of some showers, maybe even some thunderstorms. Before the rain arrives, most likely we're going to be dealing with some sea fog, especially as we get into that Saturday evening time frame. So just be aware, right now we've got a 40% chance of some showers and thunderstorms Saturday afternoon into the evening evening hours and then that rain chance going up for Sunday. So Sunday lo looking a little bit better for some wetter conditions. So off toward the west coast is where our next rainmaker is situated and it is still bringing some very heavy rain. This rain has been steady across Southern California since Sunday afternoon. It has not let up. We are still seeing some very heavy rain portions of San Diego in and around the Anaheim area along the foothills there. That storm system is going to be shifting eastward. Eventually, by Wednesday, it's going to be into the Rockies. But notice, it gets shoved up toward the Midwest. It draws in a very weak cold front that brings back a slight chance for some wet weather Thursday and Friday. But then a stronger storm that currently is over the Gulf of Alaska, that one is right on its heels. That one moves in for the weekend. And it's not until that system moves through that that cold front eventually exits. So expect that moisture to continue to gather for Sunday. So that's why we increase those rain changes chances for Sunday with the proximity of that storm system and then the front that is still lingering overhead. That front will be the focus point of some widespread showers and thunderstorms. Now, when you look at that coverage and then you look at the amount of rain that we're anticipating, it's not significant. So we're not anticipating any sort of flooding issues, no high rainfall rates or rainfall totals that are going to exceed a foot like we saw in recent uh, fronts. But one to two inches will be possible north of I-10 and then